Hey guys, so today I just want to show you how you can go ahead and make your XXLPQ, the official Android 4.3 firmware from Samsung, uh, how you can make it look more like Android 4.0. If you want to go ahead and run the st stock Android 4.3 by Samsung that you got, uh, you know, over the air or you updated it from keys, you don't want to mess around with. I know that Synology Mod 9 with Android 4.0 is a little bit more like uh, and the real Android 4.3 as you're gonna get on the Galaxy Nexus but let's say you don't want to mess around with that you you want to run the official stuff from Samsung uh, if you go down here about phone you can see that I'm running the official stuff you can see that I'm still running on the baseband version XXLPH but that was just because I was running that before but the kernel version I think that's one's the most important XXLPQ uh, IML 74k so as you see I have tweaked it a little bit over here uh, if you go ahead and open it here, you can see that I'm using an ICS lock screen. So it's not uh, as the Galaxy Nexus and 4.0 stock experience. I think it actually is a little better because you get call and then you also get the quick access to your messages and then of course your your camera over there. Uh, but uh, you get some more options. If you go ahead and show you the camera. You can see though that it's still the same camera app. You can also change that one out to an ICS one. Uh, but if we go ahead and unlock it over here, you can see also that I'm using a Nova launcher down here. Uh, and the Nova launcher is kind of cool because you can go uh, here and put more apps on the side over here. I think that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, if you go ahead and open up over here, you can also see that Nova Launcher also changed this. And if if you want to go ahead and download Nova Launcher, you just need to run Android 4.0, and it works with this new uh, official Android 4.3 by Samsung. So uh, a little bit more there, like in uh, ICS experience. And also you can see that I have a live ICS wallpaper. Uh, so if you go ahead and it's just an app that I downloaded. So if we go ahead, oh wait. Just go ahead and tap over here, go to wallpapers after you have installed that. Uh, go to live wallpapers, you can see that it's called ICS Live Wallpaper, you know. Um, so that's also an app. So I downloaded you three apps and really feels a little bit more like ICS. But of course, if you really want the, an, an awesome ICS experience right now, you should go ahead and check out the new Synogy Mod 9 for Android 4.0. I, I may go ahead and install that, but uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, I, I'm kind of satisfied with the experience. Uh, I'm having right now with my device also the new Gmail over here uh, and of course it still look a bit like gingerbread up here uh, and if we go ahead and see what else yeah as, as, as you did see over here the menu still looks really old and that's something that really do suck so if you really want the full ICS experience you should go ahead and check out Sino Game 9 and their progress I think that they have a new build out that should be pretty awesome but yeah, just a quick look and showing you how you can go ahead and make it look more like ICS. You can see that I have a Google Plus page over here. You can resize, resize this widget, uh, whatever size you feel like. Of course, uh, Google over here uh, with that updated browser that feels a little bit more like, uh, like ICS. And that's something that's also kind of neat. Okay, let's see what happens if you go to the XD developer forum, but, but I'm still a little bit disappointed You know when you go to apps in the browser you still have that old gingerbread experience Not that under 4.0 experience kind of do suck But of course there are a ton of firmware and widgets out you can go ahead and make it even you know the full experience as I said there with uh, Like Sino Game 9 and their under under 4.0 that's based on like the Galaxy Nexus if we go ahead and go back, I've already been showing you this, multitasking is like this. I don't actually think this is open the apps at the moment, this is recent apps. And of course we have the task manager over here. You can see that I'm running on uh, around, uh, I, th I think it takes actually a little bit more RAM. Uh, but I think it's, uh, I think both the battery performance is uh, probably way more awesome. Uh, and also that uh, it probably takes a little bit more RAM, I'm not sure. 
but uh, yeah a very very quick look of course Nova launcher is is, is an awesome app uh, that you just have to download it makes it really feel a little bit more like ICS you get so many options over here and you can also download the premium version uh, called Nova launcher prime or no they have like a premium version and then you we get a little more things you can change in the dock or in the gestures as you can see you have a ton of gestures here you can go ahead and learn if you, if you want to become a little bit more uh, of, of a power user uh, yeah quick look see